Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be bringing you guys another favorites video today because I did one a couple months ago and I had such a good time keeping track of like my favorites and sharing them with you guys. So I thought I would do another one since it has been a couple months because I have some new favorites I wanted to share with you guys. Not all of these things are new to me, but they're new as far as me sharing them with you guys. Most of them, I think. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. A mix of fitness favorites, beauty favorites, body care, home items, and things like that. So if you like favorites videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So some of these things I actually don't have to show you either because they're not like physical things that I can hold or because I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get them. And that is actually the case with the first two things I wanna share with you guys. The first thing that is a favorite and has been a favorite of mine but for quite a while now, and I, I shared it in a recent haul that I did from Ulta, it is actually a nail treatment um, that I tried to live without because I thought it really wasn't, couldn't be that helpful, but trying to live without it made me realize that it is very, very helpful and my nails need it. It is the Nail Teaks Formula 2. It's not really a polish, it's a treatment. Um, but you do put it on just like conventional nail polish and it really helps you if you have dry nails, brittle nails, peeling nails, all of which I have. It really helps to strengthen your nails and so whenever I paint my nails on Saturday, I will obviously take my nail polish off from the week before, put the Nail Teaks on first and then just put my regular base coat, my regular polish, my regular top coat and it doesn't really do anything as far as helping your polish stay on longer, but it really does help keep your nails from peeling and chipping. And it does, and over time, increase the strength of your nails. And so that has really been something that I need because I don't have great nails. And like I said, I tried to live without it thinking it really wasn't that important, but turns out it really is that important. And so it is evidently gonna be one of those things I use forever. And it's a definite favorite. So if you guys have peeling nails, weak nails, brittle nails, or nails that just get really, peely and dry over the winter. Maybe it's at least something you want to give a shot for over the drier months and then maybe you won't need it all year long like I do. Maybe you will. Um, but it's a great product and it's fairly affordable. You can get it at Ulta. I think you can get it from Amazon. So definitely a favorite that I recommend. My next favorite again is something I'm not going to bring up here because I don't want to go downstairs to get it and it's heavy. But they are my power block weights that I got for Christmas a few years ago. They're basically adjustable dumbbells that you, um, that replaces having multiple sets of dumbbells and in different weight increments. It is like a million pairs of dumbbells all in one set. And I got mine from Amazon as a Christmas gift. My parents got them for me for Christmas because I really wanted them. And I have to say, they are one of the, the things that I use the most out of anything in my house other than makeup i use my power block weights almost every single day and they really do save so much space because you've got so many different weight increments at your disposal in such a small little amount of area um, they don't take up hardly any room they're really durable i've had mine for almost two years now and they're as good as the day that i got them and i love them and i think other than the fact that they do save a lot of space and they do save money from having to purchase multiple sets of weights I just think it's so nice to be able to have so many different weight increments at your disposal because I talked about that before. I think a lot of times we don't think we're as strong as we are and so we tend to get maybe a five pound weight or an eight pound weight and think, well, that's all I need. I have been amazed by, first of all, from when I first started using them, how much more I could lift than I thought I could because before I got my power block weights, I only had an eight pound weight that was the heaviest pound, like that was the only, that was the heaviest set of dumbbells that I had was eight pounds per hand. And I thought, oh, you know, eight pounds, that's not too small, you know. I really didn't realize that I was actually able to curl 12 pounds until I had my power block weights. And then now I'm curling 15 pounds. So it's just really nice to have so many different weight increments at your disposal for all different types of strength training exercises. And I love them, love them, love them. And they have to go down in history as one of my very favorite gifts that I've ever received. It's kind of going out of order, I'm sorry. But speaking of things that are downstairs, I'll go ahead and mention my next thing is my space heater. I am the type of person that wants to be warm all the time. Not like hot like in the summer, but if it's at all remotely cool, like even in the summer sometimes, if the air is on, I wouldn't be opposed to having a space heater on just because... Even if I'm not cold, I like to be warm, if that makes sense. And especially if it is cold, I definitely like to be warm. So I feel like the guy in the commercials, you all remember the commercial where the guy was like walking through his house and there was a TV at like every few inches and he was just kind of watching TV everywhere he went. I feel like that about space heaters. I have one in my bathroom. I have one in the living room. I have one in my office. So I kind of just go from space heater to space heater. 
But one of my favorite things to do, and I do it pretty much every day, is I either eat my breakfast and or like my bedtime snack kind of a thing in front of the space heater. And a lot of times in the fall and winter, I will lay down in the floor in front of the space heater and for watching TV or something, I'll just lay down in front of the space heater just for like ever. And it's just so cozy to me. And I like the space heater that I have because it does kind of emulate a fireplace. I mean, obviously it's not terribly realistic, but it does have that little bit of a flame action. So it's not as ugly as maybe a traditional space heater. It's a little bit cozier. And the one I have, you can actually turn the heat off and just use kind of the fake flame part of it if you really just kind of want to make it more cozy. But I love my space heater and I will try to link it below if they still have it. I think Amazon has it and QVC has it. So if I can find it at one of those places, I will link it below for you guys, but I love it. And speaking of heated things, because you know, space heaters aren't enough. Last year for Christmas, I got a heated blanket and I love this thing. I feel like the guy on Charlie Brown that like carries the blanket everywhere. Is that Linus? I don't remember, but I have this blanket that I keep in my bedroom. It's a heated blanket. It came from Kohl's. I got it last year for Christmas. So it's almost been a year and it's still going strong. It's got quite a few different heat settings. Well, it's not plugged up, but I think it's got like five or six different heat settings. Um, but I love it because at nighttime, I like to, when I come up to bed, I will get my bed kind of area ready and make the bed and get my area ready. And I will turn the blanket on and lay it down over top of where I lay while I'm getting ready for bed. And then when I come back to bed, the bed sheets are all cozy and warm and I just slide underneath my blanket and it's so cozy. And so I love having this. And then a lot of times on Saturday night, if we're watching a movie like we usually do in the living room, I will take my blanket with me and watch my movie underneath my blanket. So I love having a heated blanket. It doesn't have to be this one if you are looking for a heated blanket, but I do think they are so super soft and cozy. And a lot of times too, it helps if my body is sore like from working out or something. It's actually kind of like a heating pad in a way, so it feels really good at night. If I'm sore, I will lay down and kind of push it into my lower back or anywhere that I might have some aches and pains, and it really does help with that too. So I love my heated blanket. Um, What else? Okay, so kind of back to beauty things. I am so sorry. I really should have organized this, but that's kind of how I roll. We've got a couple beauty things. The one thing I have talked about before is coconut oil. I love using coconut oil. Take off my, I, I use it to take off my face makeups. I use it as my all over body moisturizer. And I will try to go back and use like conventional lotions, which first of all, a lot of the ones that most people get have parabens and those things in them. So I try to stay away from those. So there really hasn't been a body lotion that I have found in recent years that has smelled good and doesn't have parabens. So for that reason, it also it kind of pushes me towards coconut oil because this is organic and it is safe enough to eat. I don't eat it, but you could. It's definitely not going to hurt you to put it on your body. It works as an anti-inflammatory. So if you're, if you have razor burn or if you have a sunburn or something, I just love coconut oil. I can't say enough good things about it. I used to get the Vitacost one and I still do sometimes, but recently Amazon had a sale on this. I don't know how to pronounce this. Anju, Anjo, I don't know. 100% um, extra virgin of coconut oil. And it is it's such a good value because you get 32 ounces and I think I paid $15 for it. So I really love, I really love coconut oil. There are so many uses for it and it's fairly inexpensive. Also something new that I found that I really am, am enjoying is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Brazilian Nut. I had run out of all my body exfoliators and I wanted one that I really wanted one that was chocolate. And I did have one before that smelled like chocolate. It was the Giovanni um, warming sugar scrub or something. And it does literally smell like chocolate. But I think it was like $15 or $18 for a tub of body scrub, which seems kind of stupid because it's just gonna go down the drain. So I found this one at Bed Bath & Beyond. I know Amazon has it, I know Ulta has it. And I like the Brazilian nut scent because to me it smells like chocolate. Um, and you can see it's really dark. Pretty gritty. I mean, I'm the type of person that when I exfoliate, I'm not messing around. I get an exfoliating mitt and then I put this on the mitt and I'm like rubbing like I really like to get all of the skin off. So this one's really good. It's pretty thick. It's a pretty thick granule on its own. And then if you if you pair it with an exfoliating glove, it's really going to get good and get all the dead skin off your off your body. And especially if you're going to be self tanning, which clearly I don't. Um, but if you are going to self tan, it's a really good one to use before that because it really does do a good job at getting off all the dead skin. But I love the smell. I think the smell for me is the main reason I love this one so much because it does smell like chocolate to me. Another beauty favorite, and I wish I had a pretty one to show you. Um, 
But this is my last one and I haven't been to Target yet to pick up any more. I do have a Clarisonic face brush that I do like, but sometimes, most of the time, I'm too tired at bedtime to really mess with it. So I still like to make sure I'm getting my skin really clean. And I really like these like Target, they're exfoliating rounds, so you don't throw this away. You use the same one for quite a while. Um, you could throw it away, I guess, but that would be kind of wasteful because I think it's usually around three or four dollars for a bag of, I don't know, eight, ten. So if you threw them away, it wouldn't last you very long. But I usually use mine for like a week or two. I'll just rinse it out after I wash my face and it seems to work really well that way. Um, but they are pretty gritty. If you are a child of the 80s or 90s and you ever remember seeing your mom using a buff puff, it's pretty much the same thing. A buff puff is like this teardrop shape, or it used to be, this teardrop shaped like exfoliating sponge. My mom had one. I thought it looked so neat. Um, and I don't I don't know if they still sell Buff Puff or not, but this is pretty much the same thing. Um, so this is really nice, either, either as an alternative to using a Clarisonic. Is it as, as good as a Clarisonic? Probably not. But it definitely does have some exfoliating properties to it, so especially with wintertime coming up and our skin tends to get a bit drier, maybe a little bit flaky, this is really going to help to um, get all that extra dead skin off. So I'll try to see if I can find a link for it on the Target website, but I have purchased them multiple times in the Target stores. And my last two favorite things that I want to share with you guys are actually YouTube channels. The first one that I found, actually I didn't find it, my husband found it and he told me about it, is a, web, is a YouTube channel called Dude Perfect. And it's not the type of thing that I would ever have thought that I would have liked because I don't really watch a lot of YouTube videos. Really, I don't watch any YouTube videos of like trick shots or funny skits or anything like that. But they are so funny. These guys are like all friends and they're Christians. So it's something that we watch together now as a family that I can include the girls in on. It's funny. We actually all enjoy it, which is a rare thing for all of us to like what we're watching. Usually it's like my husband likes it, but we don't. Or they like it, but we don't. You know. So it's so nice to find something the whole family likes. It's wholesome entertainment. They have awesome music. They're so funny, this group of friends. They are so hilarious. And they always do all these different challenges and challenges and trick shots and funny little skits and things like that. I think I heard the other day that their YouTube channel is the most popular YouTube channel in the United States. Like they have the most subscribers of any United States resident that makes YouTube videos. So that's pretty amazing. They do awesome jobs. And they actually have a TV show too that comes on Nick Jr. So same thing. The videos are all safe for families. They do funny stuff and trick shots and sporting type things. So. It's been a really a really nice blessing to have their channel to watch because it is a struggle to find something that all of us can watch and enjoy, especially my husband, that is family friendly. So love Dude Perfect. Check out their channel. I will have it linked below. Also, another favorite that I have found in the last month is another YouTube channel called Shelly Dose. She's actually a personal trainer and she does YouTube videos. And I, you guys know that I love Fitness Blender YouTube channel. I love the Fitness Blender YouTube channel and I like the Pop Sugar Fitness channel. Like I, I, I watch a lot of different um, fitness YouTube channels to do my workouts every day. And I, you know, sometimes you get kind of tired to do the same ones or you get a little bit tired of the same personalities. And so I had been trying to find some new workouts to do and I found her channel. I don't know why I haven't seen it until now, but she has amazing videos, but she's no joke. I don't know why she doesn't have more subscribers. I don't know why her, her videos don't have more views than they do because they definitely should. She has such great videos and they're tough. I know she's got a couple beginner ones, but I usually stick to the ones that are a little bit more advanced and they're no joke. Like she will, you will sweat like you've never sweated before after you do one of her workouts. But I love that about her and I love how she incorporates um, a lot of weights in the cardio. So maybe you'll be using a lighter weight, but you're moving your arms a lot faster. So you're getting that toning, you're getting the cardio. Then she's got other videos that are just straight cardio, hit Tabata workouts, all different types of workouts. So I highly recommend that you check out her YouTube channel. I have it linked below as well. I actually posted a, a picture of myself after one of her workouts a couple weeks ago, and I said, nobody makes me sweat like Shelly Dose. She makes me sweat like nobody else. But it's a good sweat. I mean, when I'm done with her workouts, I'm like exhausted and I know I got a good workout in. So highly, highly, highly recommend her channel as well. So those are all of my current favorites for, I don't wanna say for the month because it's been a couple months, but for the last few months, I guess we could call it maybe a fall favorites type of a thing. I really had a good time with my favorites video I did a couple months ago that was kind of a summer current favorites video. So if you guys are interested in seeing another favorites video from me, maybe in a month or so, um, or a winter favorites video, let me know if you guys like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Really, that helps me to know what videos to make in the future, 
when you guys comment and let me know that you like the video or you give me a thumbs up that really tells me hey they like this video and I should make more of them and I really do I think favorites videos have become very quickly one of my favorite videos to make because I like talking about products. I like sharing products with you guys. I think it also just gives us a chance to get to know each other better when you know what products I like and sometimes you hear like the backstories of things. So I really enjoy making favorites videos and I hope you guys like it because I want to keep doing it. So make sure if you do like it, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next video. Bye.